Hey everyone, Sammy Shane and Victini here, joining the bandwagon of OC Reviews. So, my sprites were made by Strawberry Bunnies on DeviantArt. Thank you! And, just for that, we are reviewing one of her OCs. This one is an alter ego of her, well, one of her main OCs called Mallow, but this one is a failed experiment of her. Looking at the design, it is, um... Let's see, how would I put this? Okay, well, if you look at it, basically, um, many people would see it as more of an edgy design with how it looks. But I kind of find that a bit ridiculous, just judging it based on how it looks, because you don't know the personality. Okay, I'm rambling. Now, me, myself, I'm still a learning artist, and I'm still learning techniques and such, but... From what I can, from what I can give um, to my friend here, I would say that the best that um, God, I really need to make a script. I would have to say that the best advice I would have to give um, for working on the body is to look up references and to know how to draw more of an anthro bunny adopt. I believe she has stated in the past that when she no 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 that was someone else that was someone else. Yes, but when it comes to drawing bodies like this, it's best to look up rep references. Jesus, I can't speak today. Probably because I didn't sleep at all, but okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, collecting my thoughts. By the way, constructive criticism on doing my OC reviews is highly asked for. Thank you. And I'm sorry if you hear any noises in the background, because there is a washing machine. Now, what I like about the design is that I do actually like the colors and the way the character looks. With the fluffy body, it does give off a hint of innocence, but it is immediately cut off by the black hair, the wings, and we'll, uh, the obviously deadly-looking tail that looks like it'll bite your face off. And reading the description. I made an alter ego for Mallow for, Go for Gortober. She's a failed experiment who then began to wreak havoc. Her creator slash parents remained anonymous and stayed that way when they found out what she was doing. Mallow offered to donate some of her blood and other, and other bodily fluids to create the genetics of a sparkle bunny. With that, mixed blood of a parasite and earthworms and the veins of Mallow offered to donate some of her blood. I just read that. I'm sorry. And the veins of a vampire she was born. There were more ounces of sparkle rabbit DNA than there were other genetics of the creatures breeded and involved. The parasite mutant on her tail is named Void. He's a very affectionate little worm dude. He often gets in the way of her plans and such, so they don't have the best friendship ever. Anyway, most of Experiment Mallow's body is vampire-based. She loves murder, eating organs, sucking blood, etc. That's why she'd be perfect for Gortober. All of my OCs are immortal, by the way, so whenever they get their guts eaten, they still feel pain. What the... Family Friendly Channel, so censor, Mallow. That's, that really hurt. Basically, Mallow and Experiment Mallow are two different people because Mallow's too pure for that kind of crap, lol. Okay, now, while I do understand when it comes to alter egos, you tend to more put of a simple description than rather of a full bio, but despite that, I think I would have more preferred it if more of a template or, or a full bio was put for the character. The likes seem to be pretty basic for what the character is, but maybe it could also be much more interesting if you gave her some likes that wouldn't really fit in the theme of Gortober. Or maybe it couldn't, like maybe she really also likes candy and such. I don't really see much dislikes other than, well, her just being the opposite of Mallow. And while we do get a basic rundown of her personality just by reading this, I feel like a personality could be rather fleshed out more than what we already see. Man, I really need to make a script, and I suck at this, but okay. All in all, I do think you did a rather good job on the OC, but I just think it's best that if you start to look up more references on how to draw the body, and even though it's an alter ego, maybe look up a bio template in order to fill out um, all the traits, names, such that is needed. I do feel that um, all, this, all the genetics mixed into her might be a bit much, because, um, like, yes, while well, it would fit in this theme, I do feel like it's a bit too much of a hybrid. Maybe she could just be 
um, like a paras maybe instead of just being a vampire, she could just be a parasite sparkle rabbit and such. Judging that, while I know vampires are more in the theme of this time of the year, it does seem a bit overused for many OCs like this, and perhaps just making her like more of a, a parasitic sparkle rabbit would make it much more scary and a bit more original. If you'd like, uh, please tell me in the comments, I would um, give this OC a bit of my own redesign to see how I'd put a take on the character. Anyway, this has been Sammy Shiny Victini, and I will see you all later. Bye bye